ball, fresh from the ball, back to the wall with my hands on my What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Urban Gear Man, and I'm back with another video. And today, I got something really important for you guys to say. As you know, I highly recommend the Ultrasonic Jewelry Cleaner to clean your jewelry. It's right here. You could get this off Amazon for like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, or whatever. This is the best thing to clean your jewelry. I love it so much. I'm probably going to do a how-to video on how to use this one day or whatnot. But I'm telling you, get this. I highly recommend it. But now back to the topic. When you're using this, do not put certain types of jewelry in it. Yes, I highly recommend it to use it. But certain types of jewelry... I would not put it in there a lot or at all. So let me try and explain this to you guys. Okay. This is solid gold though, but let's pretend this chain was gold plated, right? Gold plated jewelry being put in the ultrasonic cleaner is a bad idea. You're better off using a toothbrush or what other cl the cloth or whatever cleaning method you can do it you can, but just don't do it a lot do not put this a lot or for a long time in the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner the reason why is because it will strip the gold plating or any plated jewelry so even if you have um rhodium plated on silver over time, it will peel the rhodium plating and you'll just have a silver chain. You know, I recommend using it only once a year or once every six months if you it got really dirty and you really can't do it or whatever. But frequently using the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner on gold-plated jewelry is a big no-no. Don't do it. If you do it, your gold-plated is going to fade. And the girls ain't going to want to talk to you no more. You know what I'm saying? So use a toothbrush and it doesn't matter if it's gold plated. It could be the rhodium plated or whatever plating you have. So I recommend not putting it in there a lot. You can. And if you do do it, don't put it for a long time. Lightly do it. Another thing that you should not put in there are your loose rings. You see this? A diamond came out of this. I don't know if you could see, but a diamond's missing out of this, right? I suspect it was the ultrasonic cleaner or whatever, but I do have a video showing you guys that all stones come out regardless, but if you have rings with loose stones, I don't know any rings or any jewelry, even chains. Do not put your Cuban chain. Do not put your Cuban link in the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. A stone will pop out. I don't care if you got it from Trax NYC. I don't care if you got it from a the high class jeweler. Loose stones pop out. Do not put them in there. Like, I'm not saying they're gonna um disappear right away. But if you constantly, constantly put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, a stone or two is going to pop up, pop out eventually. Because the way the ultrasonic cleans it, um, it uses its ultralights and it, it, it's a little bit of force that gets rid of the, um, it'll, it'll shake up the stones, it'll shake up the stones. So, and there's nothing holding it in place. If you're going to use an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, I recommend doing it for a tennis chain, a solid gold chain, or a s silver with rhodium plated, you can do it, but the rhodium plated might come off on the silver, but you could use silver gold, regular silver on it, or any jewelry that has prongs. You see this ring? I'm selling it on my website. The link is in the description, the Get Fly Store. My favorite ring. I highly recommend you get it with a tennis chain. But if you can see, it's it has prongs. So there's four things holding it 
in place so the stone can't get loose. So any jewelry you put in the ultrasonic jewelry cleaner, make sure it at least has prongs holding it together. And that way you could use it without any worry unless you have it plated. You know what I mean? So yeah, the loose stones, so I don't know if you can see the difference. This, see, this has diamonds that are loose around here. There's nothing holding it in. But the silver one right here has prongs, four stuff holding it in. The best example is your studs. If you see your studs, they have like these four things sticking out. They're called prongs. And they hold a diamond in place. But these ones don't have nothing. They're just kind of loose. Just to show you again. Because I know a lot of people don't know what prongs are when you tell them what they are. I hope I hope that was a good um, description. So, yeah, make sure it has prongs. You can put loose stuff in there, like your Cuban. You can put your loose rings in there, but just no. Or your watch with loose stones in there. But if you constantly use it, the stones eventually are going to pop out. And you're not going to like the chain no more. Imagine that happening to your Cuban. If you're going to clean them, I recommend using a t the toothbrush the good old way or... Um, I think some people dip it in a solution. I might do a review on those cleaners or whatever or whatnot. So that's my review. Like and subscribe if you like the information that I'm coming with. And go to my store to support your boy. I don't do super chats. You know what I mean? I don't believe in super chats. I believe in um. you pay me something and you get something. You get a ring. A hundred bucks. You get a... 160 bucks to get a Moissanite ring. You know what I mean? I got the Louis Vuitton shoes for like 500 bucks and they're, they cost like three grand. You could support me that way. You know what I mean? And you get something. But that's my video. Like and subscribe. It's your boy, Urban Gear Man. And I'm signing out early.